Hi everyone, so I have just filmed a home bargains haul. Me and my nan just went to home bargains and, and Paul had to hurry for the morning and we spent quite a bit of money in there. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with the stuff I got. The after math is crazy though, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now I'm on antibiotics. I've just got a bit of um, like a cough still, which is, which is fine. Um, but yeah, Harry's awake now, so I managed to quickly film this, which was lovely. So let's go and get him. <gasps> Hi, baby. Hi, it's Mummy. I'm back. Hello. Did you miss me? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Did you have fun with Daddy? Harry. Mm. Do you want to get out? Don't. <gasps> Where's your trousers? Where's your trousers? Where's your trousers gone? Where are they? <laughs> Give us a kiss then. Mwah. Oh, what do you see? Uh-oh. Mm. Kiss? Um, so yeah, I am going to sort this place out. Um, and Ellie's got a birthday party at, after school uh, for one of her school friends and we're taking uh, one of her friends to the party so I've got to make sure I've packed a change of clothes for her so she's not running around in a school uniform and I had to go and get a present today in Home Bargains for the little girl so I'm going to write her card out I usually get Ellie to write her cards actually but she's not going to be able to do it because she's at school so I'm going to have to write the cards out uh, wrap the present up and then by the time I probably do all that it will be school pick up time and then party 4 till 6 so we're not going to be home till about half 6 tonight um, I'm not sure what we're going to have for dinner tonight either I think we're going to have toad in the hole or sausages and mash I'm not too sure so I need to figure out what we're having for dinner oh. So yeah, this is where I was filming and I had to borrow my nan's shopping trolley to take all of this stuff home um, from her house to my house. Luckily, she's literally two doors away, so I couldn't carry all the bags. So I put it in her shopping trolley and I'm really, really tempted to get myself a shopping trolley because they're great. Usually, I use the... Um, the buggy and I put all the bags on the buggy but Harry stayed with daddy this morning so yeah <laughs>
get so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Okay, so we are back from the party. It's about seven o'clock now. Um, and I'm just getting things ready for tomorrow. All the school uniforms, homework's done. Harry has just gone to bed, but I can hear him stirring a little bit. So, yeah, Ellie's just having... A quick cheese sandwich she did have dinner at the party and um, nuggets and chips but that wasn't enough for her so i just done her a quick cheese sandwich before bed um and then i'm gonna get her into bed because she is so tired and so I'm am i tired. you are you're very tired um ready for tomorrow and uh yeah i'll probably vlog a little bit more tomorrow she got her little party bag there we go. You got some cute stuff in there, didn't you? And the cake looked amazing. Um, it yeah, it had waffles and donuts on this cake. It was so cool. I really wanted donuts. She didn't even save me any, did you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was going to have a bath, but I just want to get into bed. I'm so tired. So, yeah, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so today is Thursday um, I'm just doing the getting them ready because Ellie's got school, it's just turned 8 o'clock, I've been up since 7 just giving Harry a quick bath because he's done a poo explosion so I'm going to give Harry a quick bath get Ellie, well Ellie can get her dressed for school she's just having their breakfast at the moment get Harry dressed and then we're going to go and do the school run Undressed, thank God. Um, so yeah, kind of go, go, go. I was going to do a morning routine today, but I woke up a little bit later than what I wanted. Um, and we just wasn't very organised. So. Yeah, let me know if you like to see a morning routine though, because I have got a few little tips to help. Uh, but because we were at a party last night, it was a little bit manic trying to get everyone into bed. Right, do your coat up, Ellie. Let's go. So, Harry's just having his breakfast. He has got some cut up grapes, some shreddies, this is his favourite cereal, and some melon. Is that yummy? You have it. So I just received this in the post and I'm so in love with it. Thank you so much to Disney. This is the Dumbo Flattering Ears. And if you press the little foot here. How cute. Harry's going to absolutely love this when he wakes up from his nap. So yeah, I cannot wait to see the film. I actually think it's out this weekend or next weekend. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I will leave a link down below because I believe it's in Smith stores right now, if you'd like to get one. But um, I'm not being paid to say this. It is gifted um, just to put that out there. Okay, so it's been a few hours now. Harry is having a little nap. Um, and I've just done a little bit of cleaning and some work. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys because we have decided to take Harry out of nursery. Mainly because he has been so ill recently. Since around November he has been ill pretty much every single week or every other week he's been ill. And I'm talking about not just colds 
chest infections and to the point where he was struggling to breathe sometimes. He had a really bad cough that was lasting for months. And we were just constantly backwards and forwards to the doctors. He's been on antibiotics so much. He's got a um, two inhalers. He's now on a steroid inhaler as well, just to kind of get rid of his cough, which is really helping. But also the doctor advised us to take him out of nursery for a few months. Um, and I know, obviously, every kid is going to have to go to nursery or preschool in their life. And it's best to do it when they're young to like kind of build up their immune system but because he was so poorly and it was just really it was a really stressful time actually because I felt like he was never ever going to get better and it was horrible seeing him every week being poorly um, and obviously nursery wasn't helping because other children are sick and there was a lot of days I mean he was only doing one day he was only doing Wednesdays but he missed about six Wednesdays and obviously you still have to pay for them days and it doesn't matter like I'm not complaining that we've missed out on that and we've lost money because he is more important and his health is more important and I've never put him into nursery if he was that poorly and um, but obviously it's just maybe not the right time and um, and hopefully his immune system will build up and I mean, it's only been a week since he's not been at nursery and already he seems a lot better. So yeah, he seems a lot better. His cough has now gone. Um, he still has a runny nose now and then, which is, you know, pretty normal when it comes to kids. But he just seems a lot happier in himself. He's sleeping so much better. The last couple of nights he's actually slept through, which is like unheard of with Harry. He used to wake up twice three times a night um so yeah like things have changed um and they are getting a little bit better and then maybe in a few months time we might put him back into nursery or we might hold off um i mean he's only how many months is he he's only 16 17 months old so he's still a baby and there's plenty of time for that so yeah i just wanted to mention that we have took him out of nursery and let me know if you've had this issue. Um, I know I'm probably going to get loads of comments saying, you know, all babies get sick and, you, sh you know, they've got to build up their immune system. They need to get used to it and things like that. But if my doctor, and I've actually seen three doctors, three doctors recommended to take him out of nursery just for a few months, see how he goes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take their advice and fingers crossed it will get better. Um, another problem we had, which, you know, he's a baby and most babies go through this, although I never had it with Ellie, so I don't know if it's a boy thing or a second child thing, is um, when he was in nursery, he was hitting and biting other children, which, honestly, like, he does it at home to Ellie. He sometimes pinches her or, like, pulls her hair. But that's just his way of like expressing and getting her attention. We do tell him off as well. Um, but I know he's not doing it in a vicious way. He's just a baby. So um, obviously before we put him into nursery, we did give them a heads up that he was doing that. So they were kind of um, warned that he was doing that. And they knew themselves like he wasn't doing it in a vicious way or anything but they did have to tell us at the end of the day when we collected him so um that was another little problem we had with him um although we took him to soft play last night and there was a couple of other little babies with him and he seemed a lot better this time he wasn't doing any of them things he just actually wanted to play with them so Fingers crossed he will grow out of it, it's just a little stage. But like I said, we never went through that with Ellie. So, yeah, if you've got any advice for that, because we do tell him off, but there's obviously only so much you can do because he's only, you know, 16 months old. You can't put him on the naughty step. He doesn't really understand that at the moment. Um, and you can't really punish him. So, yeah. Another thing, he is drawing on the walls. And it's always in one spot 
I will show you in a minute but as you know Ellie really loves colouring and drawing and sometimes she leaves pens about it's not her fault sometimes she leaves them to go and get her drink or you know it's just one of them things and it happens um so when he finds a pen he will run over to this specific spot and he will draw all over the walls and again we tell him off we proper shout at him like you know because obviously we don't want him doing that around other people's houses um so yeah we're having that problem as well we never used to have that with ellie but i think he thinks it's funny he thinks it's a game um because he keeps going back to that specific wall um and obviously we're trying to tell ellie don't leave the pens near harry or on the floor um but it's just one of them things isn't it i'm really rambling now but um yeah it's just like boys are just crazy he's actually awake now but uh yeah this is all new to us and it's like <laughs> all come at once as well but uh, yeah i'll show you the um masterpiece he's made on the wall so yeah this is it here he's done it a couple of times so we've got the green pen there's a blue pen on it and a purple pen i have tried so many things to get rid of it but it's not coming off i've tried mas magic i've tried the magic eraser but it takes the paintwork off i've tried nail varnish remover hairspray cleaning products so if you have any recommendations to get pen out of the wall without taking the paint work off, that would be great. Um, but we're thinking of just painting the wall because there are a few marks all over the walls. So yeah, that's been fun. Hello. Are you a bit grumpy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you a bit grumpy today? Mm -hmm. You want to get out? Huh? What are you doing? Uh? Uh? Let's get you out. Uh? Oh. Oh. Uh? Hmm. Uh? Is that you? Uh? Is that you? Uh? Mm. Mm. Ah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Ah, don't touch me. Don't eat my nose. <laughs> don't eat my nose. Cheeky monkey, ow, ow, ow. No, let go of mummy's hair now. Oh, oh. oh too free. Oh, one, two, three. Mm. Mm. Right, let's put you down. Harry? <gasps> Can mummy have a coffee? I'll make it, yeah? What one shall I have? What's this one? Tea and coffee. <laughs> yeah? And I'll give you this. You take that. Okay. Yeah, ta. And then look. I'm going to have cereal. And then you've got to scan it. Oh. Come back. Oh, Ta, thank you. Ta. Ta. Oh, you're going to make my coffee now. Thank you. Ta. Bye. Thanks for my coffee. Thank you. And now, can I have a bit of that? Mmm. Nice. <laughs> 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 He's crazy. Mm. 
Blanky. Blanky. Put the baby in there. Aww. Oh. <coughs> la la. No, don't get the hump. Do you want mummy to help? Draw now, Ale. Draw the H in first. Mm -hmm. uh, and then see how there's no point at the yeah. top. And then we'll come down. Like that. Yeah, I've got it on camera to prove it. Oh. Early daddy. Is it nice? Is it nice? She actually is all. Well done. Ice cream for you. Yay! Yeah. Woo! What about you? I actually didn't eat it, it just fell out my mouth. What? Good girl. What you got, Harry? Do you need help? Gentle. You want that baby? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> give her, give her a kiss. I give her a kiss. Oh. No, 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 no. Harry. Be nice to the baby. Boo. Good morning. So good morning. It's Friday today um, and we are off to go to town um, because I need to get a Mother's Day present for my mum this Sunday and today is the only day I can do it. So me, Harry and I'm bringing my nan as well because she wants to come with us. Um, I've got about half an hour till we're going. So Harry's just having his breakfast. He's had a bottle as well, and then we'll probably grab um, like an early lunch at 
uh, when we're out, which will be quite nice. So he's got some shreddies and grapes. <gasps> Is that nice? School, Paul has just taken her, it's about half eight. So she's just gone to school and she's really looking forward to the weekend, bless her. Um, I still need to get ready, I'm in my pyjamas still, so I'm going to quickly pop some clothes on, do a little bit of a speed clean and then we're going to head out, aren't we? And I might have a look in um, Poundland today. I'm not going to get anything, um, I'm not going to go crazy in there, but I just want to have a look what's in um, and then I might go back and get some stuff and do a come shop with me and a haul, so... Yeah, we're just going to be there for a few hours. It's a really nice day today as well. The sun's out and, and I've got the buggy ready to go. I always do this. Um, I'm going to be filming a updated evening routine and a morning routine, especially the morning routine because I haven't done one of them. Um, but the night before, I like to get everything ready. So um, for Ellie, obviously, school stuff, um, underwear school uniform and I also get Harry's stuff ready as well so if we are going out um obviously when he did have nursery I would get all his nursery stuff ready um and it just makes life so much easier so I put everything inside the pram so it's ready to go okay so I thought I'd quickly show you what I got from town I didn't get a lot just because I went home bargains the other day and spent quite a lot of money in there so but what I did want to go out for was obviously Mother's Day stuff um, and that's what I got so Harry's in the background if you can hear him he's a little bit windy today um, so I did go into Home Bargains because they had some good Mother's Day stuff in there at the moment um, and I forgot it forgot to get it the other day so for my mum I got her this gift bag which was really cheap 79p just a really nice gift bag and it comes with tissue paper and then inside the gift bag i got this two-piece pajama set because she loves having pajamas and she likes long sleeve and long bottoms I'm not sure what harry's doing they were 9.99 i think um so i got her some pajamas and then I also got two glitter silver frames. Um, the reason being, I got two. These are so cheap. If I can find my receipt, I'll tell you. But I think they were either $1.99 or $2.99. The reason why I got them... One minute. So, yeah, the reason why I got them is because I have them with, obviously, the kids' picture in them. So, that's Ellie's. And then we've got little Harry's. And when she was around mine the other day, she was like, oh, I love them photo frames and the pictures inside. Uh, would you be able to do me some? Because I am always sorting out photos and stuff. And um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a picture of Harry in one and a picture of Ellie in one as a nice little gift. So that will be going in the bag. And then... I also got, she loves nail varnish, and I saw this one, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Nail Varnish. Nail varnish. It's in the shade Pink Pong, and it's a gorgeous kind of like nudey pink. So that is going to be going in the gift bag, and I've got a few other like skincare stuff that's going to go in the gift bag. Um, and then I also got a box of Maltesers truffles because everyone loves Malteser truffles. These are amazing. If you have not tried them, you need to try it. Um, and then also I've already got the Mother's Day card. So that's what I got my mum. And then my nan, I got this little gift bag. It's really sweet. It's just pink with a butterfly and that was 49p. And then I bought her a artificial orchid for her new house. And um, she's already got it at her house because I was shopping with her today and she put it in her shopping trolley. So um, because it's hers, I said, Nan, just put it straight in your house. And obviously that's part of your Mother's Day gift. So I got her a gorgeous um, 
artificial orchids and then I got her this really cute little hanging plaque that says special nan this is from home bargains I got a happy mother's day great grandma card for 89p from card factory this is from Ellie and Harry for my nan and I've got her a card from me and then I also got more teaser truffles for my nan as well so yeah only something little but it's the fault that counts and um yeah I just wanted to get him something special and then we're hoping to do like an afternoon tea after Mother's Day because everywhere is like fully booked at the moment we went to a shabby chic shop and my nan actually ordered a beautiful sideboard for her house there the shop was just so beautiful I loved everything in there and um, but this caught my eye and I had to get it um, I got it for Ellie's room she's got like a little shelf in her room and she's got some really beautiful um, like fairy dolls in there and I just saw this and I thought oh, I need this um, and yeah it's just a swan with a gold crown and then like this tutu here and then the legs dangle as well and yeah she will love this it's more for like decoration purpose than playing with um but her room is kind of like unicorns swans and mermaids that's the kind of theme we're going for just nice and girly so um yeah i think it was 14 pounds um but she'll have this for years and years so yeah if i can find anything similar i will link it below Do Mummy cuddles. Oh. Oh. Give mummy cuddle. Mm. Can you do that? <laughs> no, be nice. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. Mm. 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 Oh. 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 Okay, so I've done my mum's frame. So this is the ones that we have at home uh, they're actually a little bit larger I didn't realise but I think my mum would prefer the smaller frame anyway you can see the size difference so this is mine and then I've done these two for my mum's so it's a little bit different to that one she's holding her hair in it and Harry's one is different uh, but yeah they're so sweet and they look a lot more expensive than what they are so I'm very happy with them. So the presents are done and the cards are inside. This is my nan's one. And then my mum's one here. Okay, Ellie's back from school. And she has done this at school. We've just watered it. And I think she said it's going to be beans. Yeah, a bean plant. How cute is that? So yeah, I'll just go with some water. Say hi. Hi. Need to go toilet? Yeah. Go toilet. And then I'm not allowed to look at... Okay. I'm not allowed to look at my Mother's Day present till Sunday. She won't let me see it till Sunday, which is fine. Uh, but she picked out these in school for her both her nans. So how cute is this that the school do? So you pay three, uh, pound each. So we gave her three pound and she gets to pick three items so one for me um, and one for each of her nans I think that's such a nice idea and it kind of makes them independent and like they can deal with money um, so yeah she got this one it's all wrapped beautifully and it's got some hand cream and a little plaque that says special nan and who are you giving that one to? Um, Nanny Island no Nanny Nanny Marie. Marie and then this one is for Nanny Michelle 
it's got some hand cream and a lovely heart chocolate um, and then on the tag it's got like nana nonna grandma <laughs> yeah, yeah. i think that's all like different languages for nana 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 but yeah i can't wait to see what you picked up for me lee okay, yeah. can i not see yeah. is it a surprise yeah. okay what about it's cards it's in your folder can't see that's fine, I'm I sure I can wait. Why are you going outside to play? Yeah. Do you want some lunch? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, Look hey. how cute this Mother's Day card is. She let me have the card. You're, you're talking like English. English. She let me have the card because I like to have my cards up for a few days. Um, but she's not showing my present till Sunday, which is fine. And then it says, To Mummy, Happy Mother's Day. Love from Ellie. Thank you, Ellie. Tell the camera what you're doing. Making mommy some toast. For Mother's Day. Yeah, because today is Mother's Day. Mother's Day. And I'm helping our clean up the kitchen as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pull down. You have to put it on a white thing. That's it. Hello. But it might be hot. Good. Hot. Yeah. Right, let it cool down if you want. So you've got to put the butter on first. Okay. And then ah. Nutella after. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> I eat the banana after, so I don't want banana ants. Yes, sir. I'm going to have a banana. Okay, I've got to start it. buttering. Goodness, that's a lot of butter. <laughs> I can't even spread it on. Here. Mommy and Do you need to help you? Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to get sick. Look at all that. <laughs> Bless you. You tried. Yeah. 